Safety tip number nine, avoid drug interactions with lidocaine by avoiding drugs that impair cytochrome P450, 3A4, and 1A2. Lidocaine is metabolized by a set of microsomal hepatic enzymes, cytochrome P450 enzymes. And these isoenzymes that are responsible for metabolizing lidocaine are cytochrome P450, 3A4, and 1A2. Uh, we usually say to C CYP, 3A4, for example. And now, there are certain drugs that patients may be taking that inhibit these enzymes. <coughs> if that happens to be the case that the patient is on a medication that actually s retards the rate of lidocaine metabolism, then a normally safe dosage of tumescent lidocaine can become somewhat toxic. So we need to be very careful to avoid drugs that cause, uh, uh, inhibit or block lidocaine metabolism. I have a list of drugs here, I'll mention them. But it is uh, important to, to, uh, to be aware of the drugs that the patients are taking uh, before they come into the surgery. If they are on a drug that cannot be discontinued for one reason or another, and it is a potential inhibitor of, a strong inhibitor of lidocaine metabolism, then the dosage of tumescent anesthesia should be reduced, say, from 45 milligrams per kilogram to 35 milligrams per kilogram is, is uh, what we'll often do in a situation like that. Um, <coughs> now, I'll just go over some of the drugs that are associated with CYP3A4 metabolism inhibition. So erythromycin and clarithromycin, biaxin, are, are common drugs taken by patients, and these are very strongly inhibit lidocaine metabolism. Chloramphenicol, uh, antiviral uh, protease inhibitors that are often used by HIV patients. Uh, sertraline or Zoloft is uh, another drug that has a strong inhibition of lidocaine metabolism. We, we published the first uh, report of, of drug interactions with tumescent lidocaine and other medications, and it was Zoloft that a patient had taken. She would, we had a patient who was given uh, at this point in time where we hadn't really decided what the maximum safe dosage was, so we, that she received 59 milligrams per kilogram of lidocaine on one occasion and had no problems. On the second occasion, a month or two later, she came back for another procedure, had the same dosage of tumescent lidocaine, but in the interim she had begun Zoloft. And this time she developed a, a mild lidocaine toxicity that involved the dysarthria, ataxia, and some blurred vision. So she was transferred to hospital and observed overnight. Uh, and there were no further problems and she was dismissed the next, discharged the next morning. But <clears throat> that was uh, an event that was worthy of publication. So now we've become aware of all the drugs that can cause lidocaine metabolism uh, to change and slow down. Uh, the other ones, uh, antifungals, ketoconazole, itraconazole, fluconazole may be used as outpatient and those can cause problems. There was one patient who came in to the surgery for, for one of my colleagues who told me about this. Um, she, the patient was asked, are you taking any of these drugs? And the, the person said no. But in fact, they were just getting over an upper respiratory tract infection and had been on erythromycin until the night before surgery. So she had taken this right up, the patient had taken this right up to the day of surgery and then discontinued it. And on the morning of surgery, when she was asked if she had taken any of these drugs, she said no. And this patient also had a very mild <coughs> form of lidocaine toxicity, the same mild ataxia and dysarthria, and was observed overnight, and then no further problems occurred. But that was, that's, uh, a pitfall that can happen, so be very careful to question patients before tumescent anesthesia to make sure they're not taking any of these drugs. The other um, enzyme that is important is 1A2, and ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin are drugs that inhibit lidocaine metabolism, as is fluoxetine or Lovox, uh, which is an uh, antidepressant. So 
those are drugs that should be on your list of uh, no-nos. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.